Hey everyone, so today I'm doing a new trending haircut that I've been seeing more and more. Uh, I just was at an event yesterday and I saw a lot of, you know, teenagers and high school guys and I saw a handful that had this super messy but structured hairstyle. I was like, man, this is a, this is, this looks awesome. So I'm going to try to duplicate what I think is going to be, you know, a very trending hairstyle. This is probably for people who are, you know, if you've got straight hair, if you have wavy hair, you know, curly hair even, even, you know, perfectly fine hair. It doesn't really matter. It's more about the haircut. But uh, I would say definitely if you have a good amount of hair, this would be an awesome haircut. Uh, you know, is it for everyone? No. But I think it's something that I noticed and I was like, wow, you know what? This could be, I think, a big upcoming hair trend, uh, you know, that I want to showcase. So I did use my 25 spray. Also, my vent brush. This is the updated vent brush. This is now 100% under my brand, the Salon Guy. Same exact handle, same exact everything. I had a new mold made, so now it's officially under my brand right here. So the vent brush is back in stock, better than ever, and here it is right here. And then 25 spray. I use 25 spray as a detangling spray and conditioning spray, which I think works uh, wonders. All right, so I'm going to get started on this, and the first thing that I'm going to do is basically cut the length throughout the perimeter. Now, when I say perimeter, what I mean is the foundation of the haircut. The foundation of the haircut is the most important thing, and that's what the base is, or AKA the length. That makes up most of the haircut, is creating the, the, the length. What I'm doing now is I'm separating the front from the back. As I've mentioned before, I, I think it's really important that you actually separate these two because the front and the back, you have to differentiate the two. Because if you don't, especially if you're doing this as a professional, you, things get, could get a little mixed up. So right now, I'm just gonna create a section straight across, and this is where I'm gonna establish the length. So I do wanna have some length on it, I do want to maintain that, but at the same time, I want to make sure that it's not going to be too, too long to where, you know, it's, it's, it's out of control. But this really, again, this really depends on you and the individual and how long you, you want to wear it. So I'm going to start with the length about right here, and I'm going to cut straight across. I'm not using my hands. I'm not using anything. I'm just literally using my eyes as a visual cue and just cutting a straight line. Now what I'm gonna do is bring everything back down to this one point right here. Comb all this straight down. And since we already have our base foundation and there's not a ton of hair, I can do this in one shot. Now if you do have somebody who's got loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of hair, then you can section it out. But I really am all about efficient hair cutting. So for me, if we could just bang this out in one shot without 19 different sections and taking four hours of, you know, doing handstands uh, and trying to show off all this pretty sectioning, then, I, you know, then let's do it, okay? Remember, if, you're, if you are a professional doing this, you only have limited time, and this is not a haircut for, you know, the week. This is, this is somewhat of an advanced haircut uh, because you do have to understand a lot of shapes, a lot of layering, and things like that. All right, so the back is done. Now it's time to work in throughout the sides and the front right in through here. All right, so let's position this head right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna comb all this straight down and I'm going to establish my foundation right in the very, very front. Now, if you're gonna cut this and you're gonna hold this really tight with your hands like this and, and say you want the length here and you cut it, it's gonna spring up. For this particular look, I want to make sure that I'm leaving some length because I do want to have some hair covering the eyebrow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to utilize my scissors like this and I'm going to tap down and I'm basically just going to cut straight across by leaving a little bit of extra length. I'm using the comb and the bridge of the nose as my guide, as you can see right there. It's kind of like we're cutting a little bit of a fringe. Okay, now there's this part here, which I'm gonna be working down diagonally. So we have to connect this into this. 
And there's a few ways we can do this. So I'm going to stand right here, trying not to block. And I'm literally just going to cut on an angle, working downwards like this. And there we go, right into this corner. Just like that. So what we've done is created this shape. All right, an angled shape. Now I'm going to do this side right here. And this side, again, it's the same thing matching up on the other side. We're just going to change our body position. So for me, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut upwards like this. So here is my, here's the connection point of where I need to connect. And I'm simply going to cut upwards like this. I'm not using any tension. I'm simply just cutting up to this one point right there. And I did all this in one shot. So now we still have to connect this part right into here. And that is where we can use the hands if we want. And we're going to pull it out like that and cut up. So a lot of this, it really is a matter of, you know, once you feel confident in your hair cutting skills, you want to use your hands, you can, you know, you, you, can, you can hold the hair with your fingers, you can, <coughs> should be hold it without your fingers. It really, really depends on you. But, you know, whatever makes you feel comfortable. Once you, as you get more advanced, you'll start to realize the differences of each. So now what I'm going to do is just go back on this side right here, and I am going to use my fingers just to make sure everything is even, Steven, and balanced. And I can see already one little piece right there it needs to be trimmed up. Well, again, this is the foundation or the base or AKA the length of the haircut. This is how long the hair is going to be. All right. So what I like to do is after I do that, I'm just going to go and check and pull down for balance to make sure everything is looking good and we are all set. Now, if there are any pieces that you, that you feel are a bit longer, there's no problem with going back in like this one little corner right here I found and cutting it. It's better to cut this now and to find this longer piece or these longer pieces than to have to, you know, have to redo the entire haircut. Okay. So this is all done. Now, if you wanted, you literally could have this as your haircut with no layers whatsoever and the haircut will still look actually fairly decent. It's going to be more, somewhat of a mop top haircut, but in reality, this is kind of the shape we're going for. Now what I want to do is I want to actually add some layers to it. What I'm going to do for the layers is I'm going to push this hair out of the way and I'm going to take a section straight across from the back. Now this is where it gets a bit creative because I'm actually going to cut this on the shorter side. So I'm going to hold this hair straight up like this and I'm cutting straight across. I'm trying to do this so where my dark shirt is not blocking the hair. And I apologize because I'm always wearing dark shirts, but here is the first section right in through here. And this is the guide for the entire haircut. So I actually did cut the hair, not super short, but I would say this is about, you know, two inches long in length right into here. So what I'm going to do now is utilize that piece, right? That one piece I just cut as a foundational piece for <clears throat> the rest of the haircut. So now I'm going to hold the hair straight out like this and I'm going to cut upwards like that. Next section, I'm going to follow this entire pattern throughout the entire back of the head until we get to the very, very bottom. Now, <clears throat> this is because we are creating a layered shape. What I'm doing right now is cutting layers in the hair. <clears throat> if you're new to cutting layers in the hair, you are, you are going to probably get freaked out a little bit because you're like, Oh my gosh, this is a lot of hair to cut. As you can see, I'm cutting a lot of hair but it's also necessary for this type of hairstyle because we're going for a very kind of messy, just got out of bed, shaggy type of look. And I'm telling you, I, I witnessed this. I saw this on an individual 
And he was just like, yeah, I haven't gotten my hair cut in like four months. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like your hair looks phenomenal. He's like, oh, I should leave it. He didn't even realize that he had like an amazing haircut. And I was just like, dude, you gotta like, you, <laughs> you're, you're wearing like a, a really, really, I think amazing hair trend. All right, so this is all layered now. And we're gonna go all the way down and extend this to the very, very bottom. The goal is to blend all of this length or all these layers into the bottom length. That's the entire goal for this haircut is that everything is connected together. It's just a little bit of a longer type of hairstyle. That's it, but heavily layered. So, you know, if you're a client watching this and you're like, what do I say? First of all, I wouldn't say, I would say don't go to a barber for something like this, especially if like all they do is clipper cuts all day. This is a very, you know, precision layer, uh, precision type of haircut. Doesn't say, doesn't mean that barbers can't do this because nowadays, you know, I'm coming across barbers that are a bit more of a hybrid that are able to cut layers and understand shape. So just look at some of their work, go on Instagram. And if you see all day long that they're doing all they post is like pictures of skin fades and lineups, then maybe this isn't, you know, they're not the right person to go to. And it's like going to picking a hairstylist. If you want a skin tight fade and, and you go to their Instagram page and all you see is they're doing, they don't do any men's haircuts, you know, then I probably wouldn't go to them. So you have to find the right person for the job, okay? Look, this is all layered in through here and this is looking perfect, just like I, I want. I wanna have that kind of messy, shaggy layered look in the back. We're gonna push this out of the way and now we're gonna finish up on this side and through here. Um, Executing this haircut, you know, especially if you have, say your hair is really, really long, or you're growing your hair out, uh, that you can actually achieve this haircut by growing out a shorter haircut. You just have to be patient with it and let it grow. A lot of times people are like, oh, how can I let this grow? And how can I get my hair like this? I'm like, well, that's the thing. You need to let it grow. <laughs> you know, you're not gonna achieve this look if you, if you keep getting your hair chopped off all the time. All right, so now working in through the corners in through here. And this is where the, you're gonna have a good amount of weight. So I'm actually just switching my hand position and now I'm cutting uh, palm to palm like this. And this is a really good way to analyze where you're at with the haircut. If you're combing this and you're cutting and you're seeing like, oh my gosh, there's so much hair and something seems really, really off. Anytime you change you know, body position or you change your arm position, all that kind of stuff, the hair is basically gonna jump out and say, hey, look, you need to cut me because things aren't working out evenly, all right? They're not, they're not even Steven today. All right, so that side's done. Now I'm gonna go back on this side here in the back and I'm just going to comb all this out to make sure that we are all blended evenly. And then last thing what you can do is you can actually have all this cut. I'll do this in one second. I just want to check this piece down here. So right now I'm cutting on vertical, kind of a vertical section, vertical diagonal section. And what I want to do now is create a horizontal section. And when you cut horizontally, this really is going to even everything out, right? If you're going to see any pieces that are sticking out that maybe need to be you know, evened up or balanced, this is gonna be the best solution. It's also gonna tell you and show you, because hair isn't really, I say hair talks, but it's gonna show you where you're at balance wise. So if you cut a section of hair and you notice that like one side is like, you know, an inch and a half longer than the other side, well, that means something went wrong somewhere. So this is a great way to showcase and, and show where you're at balance wise. So I'm just gonna go up throughout the entire back of the head and knowing myself, even though I am a perfectionist, I'm not you know, perfect. I shoot for being perfect, but sometimes it's not always the case. So even myself, I'm going in and I'm like, oh, there's a piece that I needed to cut or there's a piece that I missed or this and that. So all I'm doing is really just balancing out the entire haircut, right? All right, next thing you wanna do is you wanna, you really wanna shake this haircut up a bit. You wanna mess it up. You wanna see the movement. You wanna see the flow. You wanna see all the layers happening, you know, so move your hands around it, make sure you can try to mess it up as much as you possibly can. All right, now, we're time, now it's time to work the 
layers in the back and connect the top. This is where this comes in very, very valuable. So there is the section from before. And I'm actually going to cut towards the face this way. Notice how I didn't change my body position. I kept you know, my body position in the same way. My, I'm right-handed, so my left elbow is level or pointed upwards this way. So you don't want to put yourself, and I see this all the time, way too often when people even experience hair cutters, they, they put themselves in this position where they throw the right arm over <clears throat> and they're cutting, <coughs> excuse me, and it just, it just looks painful, it looks awkward because they're, they're putting them, their body in a position that's not natural. You don't need to do that. All right, here we go. So now we're ready to cut the front. <coughs> and I'm going to create horizontal sections moving forward because everything now we've connected vertically. So I'm going to cut a horizontal section and the guide is already there. The guide's there from what you just previously cut. So the key is, is to try to, and, I, and I'm trying to make this on an angle so you all can see this, right? I'm, my leg is up against uh, you know, the tripod here. I'm trying not to bang things out of the way. So I'm trying to get the best, the best visual for you. But the key is, is to make sure that you're cutting this in a very balanced method, in a very balanced uh, kind of form. So the very, very front will sort out in a sec, but you see I'm bringing everything straight up this way. All right, now, when you're layering hair, and I've said this before, you're gonna work the top, the corners, and the sides. So we just did the top, and now I'm about to do the corners. And the corners is where the roundness of the, he of the head goes. So let's pull this straight out like that, and there's the corner right there. So again, we are going for a fairly heavily layered look, but a somewhat structured and uh, messy look as well. So here is the very, very front here, and we're just gonna remove any of that weight that we need to, maintain, trying to maintain the length. Remember, the length is very, very important here. All right, next are the sides. So we did the, the corners, and now we have to cut all this down here. You can see how long that is, and we don't need that. So what do you do? You come down in the, in the corner, right back into here, and then there's the guide. So we're gonna hold this straight out, Here's all the weight on top of the length. You don't want to ever cut the length. That's the length that just fell out right there. You want to leave that. You may need to go back in and clean it up because sometimes this does remove some little bits of the length or some little bits of the weight. So you want to go back in and clean that up. That's fine or strengthen the line whatsoever. I, have no, I do that all the time. So here I'm going to comb this out and I'm just gonna cut downwards like this. I just wanna make sure that this hair in the very bottom right here is all layered, is all cut, and everything is good to go. So I'm gonna comb that outwards. Make sure you get all the hair behind the ear because those hairs will jump out and they'll stick out too. So make sure that you're really, really, really getting all of these hairs, especially if they get trapped behind the ear. But look, now you can see we're getting a bit more texture in through here. Let's do Let's do this side now. So if you're, you know, if you're a client watching this, this may not be of interest to you as far as like, you know, unless you're doing this and let me know in the comments below, are you doing these haircuts on someone? You know, because the haircuts, oh, we have to do the corners. I forgot the corners on this side. I always, I always think when we're done with the one side, we're done, but I forgot I have a whole other side to do. So here's the corner. But if you're doing this on somebody that you know, you know, a friend, uh, whatever, spouse, loved one, that, like let me know in the comments because I know a lot of you have even, you know, said this to me that you actually just watch my tutorials. You stop getting haircuts at salons or barbershops because they kept screwing your hair up. Now you just do haircuts at home by watching my videos. So I appreciate that. You know, uh, uh, I, I do want you to support professionals as I was, you know, for many, many years in salons. So I definitely want to see that support and accuracy, but if you're getting better results by following my tutorials, then that's awesome. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Gonna cut this, this, the sides and the corners right through here. I'm just gonna over direct this to make sure that I'm, I'm getting the results that I want. Comb this straight down. 
This was a little bit longer right here, so I'm gonna clean that up a bit. And I'm just gonna make sure this is all properly layered. Again, sometimes you may do a haircut and see something and you're like, oh, I need to go back and you know, clean this up or trim this or do something. So right now I'm feeling that this is a bit longer and I'm trying to find the area where it is a bit longer and I think it's right in through here. So now, now let's go in horizontally and this will give us a good indication of what's going on. Let's pull this hair out like this. The key to a lot of these is really maintaining the length, right? You wanna maintain the length to make sure that everything is, you know, you're not cutting off all this precious hair that you uh, were growing if you're a client, you know? Make sure that the person is leaving the hair where it needs to be. All right, last step. This is the last and probably most important step of this entire haircut, and it's the front right here. So this very, very front area in the, in the fringe, the bang area, all right? It's still a little bit heavy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to comb this straight out from the head, not up, but out, because the hair grows out like this. It doesn't grow up. And I'm going to just cut off that excess weight right in through here that you're seeing. And it just may be a slight bit, but there you go, right there. And that, folks, is what is going to really help the haircut have a bit more freedom and flexibility. And you'll feel, it won't, may not look like it, but you're, you'll feel that you're like, oh wow, that's a lot of, a lot of excess weight right there. Yep, it's, it's hidden. You don't really see it because once you start to pick the hair up and move it in certain directions, you're not gonna know. So this is why it's really, really important and, and going that extra mile really helps. Okay, last thing what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do some basic slide cutting like this. This is a bit more advanced, do it at your own risk. I just wanna add a little bit of you know, texture and movement in through here because the goal of this, believe it or not, is to make the hair look very, very messy and very structured. <clears throat> very messy and very, very structured. And, and that's what I'm really trying to do here. So I'm going in and doing some slide cutting freehand. All right, product of choice. This is where the number one heavy hitter tidal wave comes in. I'm gonna spray one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spritzes. That's it, eight spritzes. Now I'm gonna work the product through the hair like so, and I'm gonna actually lift like this. And the haircut is falling into place. So here's a couple of cool things about this haircut. And I'm telling you right now, I, I saw this probably on like a handful of people. And this may be probably one of the biggest hair trends that could be coming back for, you know, in 2024. And you could spray Tidal Wave on, mess your hair up, and literally go out the door like this. This is the style right here. So if you wanna dry it, okay, you can dry it with a diffuser, which this is my hair dryer right here. It comes with a magnetic diffuser if you wanna really get a bit more you know, scrunchy with the curls or you wanna use the magnetic nozzle. I'm gonna do this on uh, low speed just to talk. So it's on low speed. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna scrunch and just try to mess this up. You actually may be in a better position of trying to let this air dry with the product in it. So this is great for if you're in high school, if you're on the go all the time, you know, you let your hair dry. And, and literally this, this, this takes seconds. This takes seconds to dry. So I'm a combination of scrunching and lifting and messing up. And believe it or not, we're almost done. All right, now, if you do want to really, really sort this out a bit more and, you know, let's, let's, let's kind of soften this up a little bit here and make it a bit messy like this, well, there you go. Okay, we've got the texture, we've got the volume, we've got, you know, the freedom, the flow. You could also use, once again, Tidal Wave, one, two, three, four, five, six. You can use five, six spritzes and then you can scrunch like this set it and forget it, let it air dry. And I'm telling you that this is going to be a phenomenal uh, result. This hair trend, I, I see a hair trend when I, you know, I spot one, I'm like, that's gonna be big. So let's just turn the side so you can see. 
If this is something you are interested in, again, I would, I would go to you know, a hairstylist for this, show them pictures, take screenshots of this. It's all layered. You know, if you have wavy hair, it's just gonna enhance the waves. If you have straight hair, you know, it's just gonna kind of enhance the, uh, you know, the, the texture of it and volume. You know, and here's the front right here. But this is, I'm so excited about this haircut. Like I had a ton of fun doing this. And honestly, I think this is going to be a huge hair trend. If you want to use any of my products and purchase them, the blow dryer or Tidal Wave, you can use code YouTube20. That's YouTube20 at shop.theslonga.com. Let me know if you enjoyed this, if you want this haircut. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.